Hi there, it's Judy again from Running So and So and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2. And thank you to everyone who has liked, commented and recently subscribed to my channel. It's great to have you aboard. I do need to say thank you to the lovely lady who sent me a coffee. That was most unexpected and terribly kind of you. So thank you so much. I will enjoy that while I am out Christmas shopping. Now, day two is also joining forces with the Sewing Vlogmas Tour, which is being run by Agatha from In Agatha's Cottage and Samantha from Sequin Girls Sewy. So, Sewy? No, Sequin Girl Creates. I am so sorry, Sequin Girl Creates. All the links will be in the bo description box below. And that is where a series of vloggers have joined together to do a vlogging tour for Vlogmas. So nobody, people who want to join in, feel they can join in, but just maybe do one day. And what I said was, I'm more than happy to do it, but it would have to join in with my standard Vlogmas. So if you're joining me from the Sewing Vlogmas tour, hello, and I hope you stay with me for the rest of this journey. And to everybody who's taking part, good luck, and I hope you enjoy taking part as much as I'm doing. So basically, it's going to follow on the same theme as my Vlogmas always does. So let's start with an advent calendar. And I'm leaning over, and I have got over here, can you see? Over here, I've got my Cattle Howard Hadley calendar. I found door number two. I had to pause you then, because I didn't know where it was going to come from. But here we go. Here is door number two, and it's just down here. It's on the boat. It's actually on Captain Hook's ship. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, this year, Castle Howard are doing Christmas in Neverland, so it's all Peter Pan-themed. Uh, and I am about to open a door underneath the bows of Captain Hook's boat, the one that he falls off and into the mouth of the crocodile. Here we go. And inside, oh, look at that. It's a picture of a wreath. I've actually got one of these lovely advent calendars at school as well, and it reminds me so much of my childhood because um, my godmother, who I called Auntie Jean, Oh, she's long since gone as Auntie Jean, but Auntie Jean every year sent me a proper advent calendar and I think that I will be buying one for baby George next year. A proper advent calendar. Not a chocolate one, a proper one, like this. And then we move on to the Pièce de Résistance, the most totally silly advent calendar you could ever imagine, and a little bit of frivolity from me at Running So-and-So, the plastic rubber duck bath time toy advent calendar for all grandmas in training. So number two, if this is, you can tell it's come from the Far East. It literally goes across like this. So I will take this duck out and we will show you what I've done with the other one. I wonder if it's, oh, it's, 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 it's atrocious. Look, look at, the, look at the state of the duck. Oh, oh, it's a bigger duck today. Oh yes, oh, look at this one. It's a standard duck. I know Maggie, it's a standard duck. Maggie's nose is down here. She's trying to work out what's going on. Hold on a minute. What's this, Margaret? No, no, you're not allowed to take it away. I'm going to have to cover it in detox now. No, come on, let's take it away to the other one. So, rubber ducks. This one will have to be fully detox. I've got these lovely pictures in my, my kitchen. Oh look, you can see the doggy advent calendars. If you really wish to see Poppy and Maggie eating a treat from a doggy advent calendar, let me know in the description box below. Here we go. I thought I'd decorate my kitchen with rubber ducks. I don't know how I'm going to get up there, but I do have a little step stool. So today, I'm so excited because I am taking part in the first Jazzy Rose Flowers Zoom Call Wreath Along where well, we're making a Christmas wreath for our doors and I have got the kit. Let's take a look inside the box, shall we? Here we go. This is my Jazzy Rose Flowers wreath kit. And look at this. I have got everything I need in here to make my wreath. I'm getting everything out ready. Look, I've got wired flowers. I've got all my foliage. Oh, I've got... Oh, I'm going to have to wire up pine cones. Now, when I went on my wreath making kit last year, I did work at, I did learn how to make these. Now, I know a lot of this. I, if I want any more of this, I can go foraging for it because I know exactly what that is. That's green ivy and that is just adorable. 
in a wreath. So I'm going to lay everything out ready so that when Lisa comes online at Tapa Six, I'll be ready for her. I have a, an official spoiler alert. An official spoiler alert. I'm putting it across here, I'm putting it here. And at the bottom I'm going to write how many seconds and minutes you need to skip along if you want to avoid what is in the pink door subscription box for November. Isn't that good? It's day two and I haven't got anything in my advent calendar but my box has come, oh I'm so excited. Let's have a look. I'm going to put the camera down here. I'm going to point it down to the where the laptop is. Zoom it in. And let's have a look inside the box. Let's get it open, shall we? Oh, yes, Maggie. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Do you know, Maggie, I think I could do with a sweet treat tonight. Maggie's looking at me as if to say, what on earth are you doing talking to that thing in the kitchen? That thing in the kitchen, Maggie, is my camera. As usual, we have the little sign that says, enjoy the little things. And as always, this is a totally live unboxing of my Think Pink box. Are you ready? I am looking at the screen. Oh, it's red. Oh! oh! Today it is Let's Face the Music and Dance. So while there's moonlight and music and love and romance, let's face the music and dance. Makes me think of that lovely routine that Torval and Dean did when they tried to re... Uh, to rekindle their ice dance, Olympic ice dance dream at Lillehammer. Oh, oh, it's a nice smell in this box. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. It's my pink door candle. Are we ready? So my tissue paper is red. And it's a parrot on it, and I don't want to lose my parrot. So here goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, I'm in love. 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 It's purple. Yes, it's adventy. Andrea, how could you? Oh, Andrea, 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 chocolate. No, you're not having that. Did you see that mouth that came up to nick it from me? No, you're not. Oh, now the little gift this year, this month, is Snap Fanciners. Now, if you saw my last Friday shows, I was talking about putting up my metal rail, which will get done after Christmas. Sometimes I like to hold on to things to put up after Christmas so that the kitchen, you know, when you take things down, it's nice to put something new up so things don't look too bare. So I might put my snap fasteners on that new sort of metal pole that I'm, I've got there from Ikea. So I'm just moving these things and they're going underneath the camera. And we've got oh, this fabric. I mean, seriously, this fabric. Is that the clue? Is that the big clue? It's purple thread. And what colour is Advent? It's purple. Advent is purple. Ooh. Useful string, it says on this box. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Now, string. How often do we need string? I could use this string to wrap my fan break. I've, I've always thought about... Um, putting my fabric around boards and then I could tie it up with the string and then put a little card, little label on saying what the fabric is. 
And then, if I'm really organised, I could put it on Stash Hub. Hmm. That might be pushing it, but I really like that. Um, if anybody watches Hayley from the Hay Meadow, she did a, she's done a Vlogmas minus one, or Prelude to Vlogmas vlog, which I'll link in the description box below. And at the beginning of her vlog, it's incredible, she's got this board that she uses to fold her fabric. And I am very seriously contemplating calling Hayley and saying, excuse me, what is it you've got? Because it's genius. I absolutely love it. But if I wrap my fa fabric round boards, I could tie it with this string. That would be amazing. I like it. I'm going to put that up there. Do you know what I'm going to put inside here so I don't lose them? I might put my little big poppers in there as well. Put my poppers in there too. And the piece de resistance. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look how beautiful this is. If I thought Andrea had surpassed herself last month, it's not a patch on this month. Which, do you know, hold on a minute. I'm going to hold it up here. Let me lay, let, let me lay, let, let me lay it there. Because I thought I'd say, yes, I have seen a holly leaf. Look, a holly leaf. And there's an oak leaf. Oh my goodness me, there's another leaf there. It's absolutely beautiful. So I know I have got four metres of this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fabric. Is it not just, it's really lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. I could really see myself in that. And I'm, I'm thinking Nick stress. Because, I hate to labour the point, folks, but I, I am going to mention it again. The weight loss thing. Um, a lot of my clothes don't fit me. I could make a new Nyx dress in this because I've got four metres, so I have enough to make a Nyx dress. And I think I'm going to go straight out and say, this is going to be a Nyx dress. If you like the Lyra by Tillian buttons, you will have enough to make that too. You will have enough to make... Oh, there's that lovely new blouse from um, Atelier Brunette, the ones with the big sleeves. I'll put the name of the description box below, but you could make that with it. It is just absolutely fantastic in fact that would look lovely with a pair of jeans wouldn't it oh, that is gorgeous and i'm going to make the pilar jacket by maison fourth again when i've lost a bit more weight um and i'm going to be using the adorable purple gabardine by atelier brunette that would look great underneath it oh i love it andrea i love it i love it i love it See you in a minute. Well, I think that just about brings me to the end of Vlogmas Day 2. Thank you so much for staying with me. And I am going to sign off very quickly now for tonight. And I will be back with you all tomorrow for day three. See you later. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.